That, children, is the sweet smell of spring. The perfect time for all of you to get in touch with nature and plant your very own garden. Each of these little packets is filled with seeds for you to take home and plant. <laughs> yes, Harold? What if you're allergic to parsley? Oh, well, that would be a shame. It's such a marvellous garnish. Yes, Francine. Do we have to put our hands in mud? Well, yes. That's part of getting in touch with nature. Shoo, you pest. Mrs. Hoggemuller, Mrs. Hoggemuller. Yes, Olivia? I'd like to grow a gigantic rose garden full of red roses. Oh, unfortunately, that would take a very long time. How long? Too long. However, you do have time to grow tomatoes, basil, and runner beans, and many others. Come on up and help yourselves. What kind of seeds are these? Leftover seeds from last year's garden project. I suppose it'll be a surprise. But how will I know what I'm growing? You won't. That's what makes it a surprise. Oh, shoo, you fly. OK, Perry. Ready and dig. <laughs> This is going to be the best surprise garden ever. It could grow into a conker tree, or a giant daffodil, or a wild jungle. Hmm. <gasps> I think I saw it growing. Olivia, it's only been a few minutes. I think it's going to take a while. Rule of life number 88. A while can be a very, very, very long time when you're six and three quarters. That's me, Mum. Mm. See you later. I'm going to plant my parsnips. Bye, Julian. Good luck. I'll call you as soon as my surprise plants start growing. Olivia, how fast do you think plants grow? <sighs> Faster than these. <laughs> be patient. It'll be worth the wait. You know, studies have shown that talking to plants can help them grow faster. I could do that. Hello, plants. Please grow faster. I have to bring you to show and tell. And if you don't grow enough, I won't know what you are. And if I don't know what you are, I can't really bring you to show and tell, since I won't know what I'm showing. I know! <laughs> So then the beanstalk grew and grew and grew. And this is how you ride a scooter, which is really fun. If I was a plant, I think I would be a blueberry bush. Since it doesn't have thorns and it makes delicious berries that the birds like to eat. You won't be able to ride one yourself when you grow up because you're a plant and won't be able to hold on with your branches or anything. Jack couldn't believe how his beanstalk sprouted up into the air. Past the treetops, past the rooftops, way up high into the clouds. Or maybe I'd be a tree that people could climb or play on. Good story, isn't it? But I'll take you for rides all you want, but you have to grow. Please. <sighs> if plants like talking, I bet they'd love singing. Grow my surprise garden, grow, cause soon it's gonna snow. Besides, I need you for show and tell. I think I need to be even more patient. 
for the next ten minutes. Sorry about your garden, Olivia. That's okay. I've got more seeds. I'm just going to need to be even more patient. Look, what's this? <gasps> uh, I think it's an old dog bone. Hmm, maybe, or maybe, it's a dinosaur bone. What's that? I think I found a dinosaur bone. It looks a million years old. Maybe two million. Cool, are there any more? I'm not sure about this. Come on, Julian. Maybe we could find a Brontosaurus tailbone or something. if you open your books. Mrs. Hoggenmuller, Mrs. Hoggenmuller. <sighs> yes, Olivia? I want to show the class an amazing discovery I made in my garden. Not now, Olivia. We'll have a show and tell about our gardens next week. But it's not about my garden, Mrs. Hoggenmuller. It's about what I found in my garden. A dinosaur bone! And I have discovered the missing bone that dinosaurologists have been looking for for ages. Oh. And now, I will replace the missing bone. Say cheese. Cheese. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I don't think that's a dinosaur bone. I'm not sure I agree with you, Mrs. Hoggermuller. This is an old dog toy. And it's attracting flies. Some dog must have buried it in your garden. That would be Perry, my garden helper. But where'd he get a dinosaur bone? <laughs> now, children. By now, your gardens should be full of seedlings. Next week, remember to bring one little plant in and we'll grow our own garden in the classroom. Fantastic piece, Brout Francine. Isn't nature wonderful? Well, almost all of nature. Oh, what a lovely bean plant, Harold. I'm just glad it's not parsley. Look at Julian's parsnip. Right, isn't it? What do you have for us, Olivia? This is my surprise plant. What is it? <gasps> that, boys and girls, is called a Venus flytrap. I think I'll just call it a surprise plant. That fly looked really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, you did a wonderful job with your garden. You were very patient. Thanks, Dad. I bet we won't have many flies around here. I bet we won't. Maybe by tomorrow my plants are going to grow into a whole jungle. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Dad. <laughs>